I'm gonna play yet another island, and it is time for the one, the only. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here she is. <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> Olivia! <laughs> no! I'm telling you, Commander no. Vesper, he plays Stacks. That's the title of the episode. We were just talking about, like, literally to the moment you went to cast that spell, we were talking about the Lotus <laughs> Welcome to Shuffle Up and Play, everyone. No, I'm just kidding. Well, look, it's the professor. What? Why are you dressed like me? You're dressed like me, aren't well, you? It's because today we're going to be playing each other's decks, and we, it felt appropriate. Well, we're going to be playing decks that we built for each other, mm -hmm. because today on Shuffle Up and Play, we have each designed a commander deck for one of our friends here at the table. And in my case, I got to build the deck for my friend, Gavin Verhey, and I chose a very special commander, which is one known as Sengir the Dark Baron. Is that Sengir? <laughs> Sengir's back, everybody, it's Sengir. So the story behind this is that Gavin and I both love Baron Sengir as a character, and Gavin knows that the original Baron Sengir does not make maybe the best commander. It's probably about a seven, probably about a seven. Everything's the original seven. Baron, the original Baron Sengir. Certified it's about, seven. It's about, about, about seven to cast. <laughs> <laughs> this card is from Commander Legends and you were lead on that set? Correct. Yeah. And did you specifically design this card? Not the final version, but it's only pretty close to it. Okay. And you were so excited about this card and I felt so bad because I, I don't really like the card that much. <laughs> For many reasons, some of them flavor. And you even shouted me out. You were so excited. You were announcing Commander Legends on uh, Command Cast, uh, which you should go check out and subscribe to. And you said, Professor, it's the Sengir, Baron Sengir's back. And I was like, oh, that card is like, it's, it's like, I don't know. But I wanted to build this deck for you. And I thought I would make perhaps a troll deck, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make a great deck that lived up to your potential that you had with this card. So I thought Baron Sengir, as I would have thought you would have known, should be Grixis colors. So since it's got partner, and I thought Baron Sengir is not someone who would partner up with anyone, but, which I also thought you would have known, I've decided to partner him with Ludovic Necro Alchemist. Mm. I did not design this deck because I wanted it to be good. So <laughs> I asked Rebel AI to design and build this deck so that I could give it to you. And here it is. It's for you, Gavin. Oh, I'm so excited so, to give this a try. Yes. You yeah. outsourced your outsourcing. The whole point of this is to build a deck for someone and then you outsource. And you're not even build building. It was my idea. I told her, <laughs> I told her what I wanted the deck to do. And I said, go do a good job with it. Because she's a better deck builder than I. And you should go subscribe so to her what? channel. That's not the point. <laughs> what? You want him to play a bad deck that I made? You've seen the decks I built. I know. That's why I built you one accordingly anyway. Okay. Well, what did you build, what did you build for me? We're, we're going in order. We're, we're, we're going that? in order. Okay, Fine. Gavin, you're up, you're up next. <laughs> okay, so I have a very special deck here. I'm super right. excited to show this off. I love that uh, card. This is a deck that um, I like to call Secret Lair Alert. <laughs> All 100 cards in this deck, <laughs> lands and all, are from secret lairs. you got to be kidding me. single one You've of them gotta be kidding is me. from a secret lair, <laughs> which is absolutely delightful. And now the commander for this deck is actually, you know, we're going to do a lot of joking around over the next um, next half hour or so, or probably more probably longer more than that. Than probably lo longer than that for us anyway. Maybe not as long for you. We'll see. But um, what, Professor does a lot of amazing things from the Magic community. But I think my favorite thing that he does every year, which makes a huge difference, is he works with Trans Lifeline to do these incredible fundraisers that are amazing. And so to honor that, I wanted um, Alesha to be the commander awesome. for this deck. Alesha's so a great commander. It's Alesha, 100 cards, everyone is a secret lair. So it's pretty darn cool. And big thanks to my friend Chris Meyer who helped me get all the cards for this deck. Uh, Gavin. Gavin, <laughs> you're supposed to design for Kibler. For, for Brian. We said in the email, and I can pull it up, <laughs> that I will make for Gavin, Gavin will make for Brian, Brian yeah, will, make for, will make for Brian. Olivia will make for <laughs> me. I, for me, I don't I don't talk about myself His name is person. Kibler, not Brian. Who calls him Brian? It, it is very confusing anytime we're around and, and people say Brian and I always You tell me I did all this for nothing? So, two things, two things. <laughs> yeah, I can't actually do that. Sorry, yeah, Chris. No, that's probably, probably quite a lot of value there. 
So two things. One is I don't refer to myself in the third person. I don't walk around I don't saying, buy that for a second, by the way. <laughs> I do not buy that for a moment that you don't refer to yourself in the third Even person. Even if I refer to myself in the third person, wouldn't I call myself the... I'm like Batman when I think about in my mind to say, Professor. I'm like, no, Professor, you're not crazy. Like that episode of Batman, uh, Beyond. You know the one I'm talking They know the one I'm talking about. You are exactly like, like Batman. That's I, am, I am exactly, exactly <laughs> like Batman. Uh, so that is going to be what... Brian Kibler is playing the secret okay. layer alert deck. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, we'll have to get a new face <laughs> of Brian Kibler with the red eyes and the yes. secret layer alert face. Yes. And that'll yes. be your thumbnail for the video. I mean, it, it uh, is it is appropriate that the you know the first time that I was I, I was on your show, I was actually just played by Kyle Hill. Yes. And now <laughs> I have a deck that is for a different Brian. Right. So my my actual appearance on this is uh, yeah, works you know, out in, entirely through someone else. Too many Brians. New secret layer alert. <gasps> <laughs> I can't believe I chose the I spent so much time building this. So I would have done like some Rith the Awakener Armadillo Cloak deck if it was you. That would have been the obvious thing to do. But instead, I agonized for so long what to build, spend so much time getting all these cards together, and it's for the wrong person! It's also secret layer card. You know, it's actually, it was really fun to build yeah. because it gives you a very interesting card pool to work with. And you're like, have we secret layered this one? Have we secret layered this one? It was like actually pretty fun to work with. So it's, it's a pretty functional deck. So. Uh, I look forward to watching Kibler play it. <laughs> so, well, it's my turn. My yes. turn. Yeah, yeah. Now that I have a deck that was designed for someone else, so you to built it for Kyle Hill. Is that yeah, how this exactly. works? So I, I was debating whether I wanted to make a deck for Olivia that was just a deck that was everything she despises. <laughs> I, I, I originally considered trolling her by making a uh, old Nawbone commander deck because she absolutely her. hates old Nawbone. If and, it and had like, red in it, it would be fine. <laughs> but. I didn't go down that route. I decided to build a deck that I think that she would really like, that she just that would never make for herself, which is Maria, Scholar of Antiquity. Hmm. So she loves her artifacts. Gruel effects. But she usually is playing, you know, Esperish. Mm -hmm. And this is Gruel Artifacts. So this deck is full of cheap artifacts, many of which can draw cards on their own, but basically you have things like Ornithopter and Phyrexian Walker that you just use for mana. They're effectively a ton of moxes in the deck that let you do crazy explosive things and tons of weird fiddly stuff with your artifacts. You know I don't have to fidget like you do, so this might actually you, get really You 100% will have to fidget playing this deck because there's so many little fiddly oh, bits that are going to no. be going on everywhere, so. Okay. Well, I, I'm honestly kind of jealous that you get to play it because I was goldfishing it and it was a ton of fun. So here you go. All right. Have wow. a deck. Thank you, I will. Prof, since you are apparently Batman, I will give you the option to be intimidating. And I made you a Bell of the Night clad. I want to be intimidating for a change. For the first time ever, you get the shot. So All right. I built you Vela basically to capitalize on her third ability, well, second ability, of whenever she or another creature you control leaves the battlefield, each opponent. Each opponent loses one life. So you don't even have to choose. You just get us all. Lots of tokens to be made, lots of bounce spells, lots of drawing cards. So basically, you just get to make things appear and disappear. And if you feel really spicy, there is Mari the Killing Quill and Etrata. So. I am really impressed that not one, but two people here designed decks for me, and oh, neither yeah. of them did a merfolk deck, which actually... I will say... Low-hanging fruit. But. There are merfolk present, and Baron Sengir's also, also Baron in here. Baron yeah. Sengir's in here? Yeah. The, the original? No. No, the, the, the new one. one. Okay, okay. And I would like to say a big thank you to our uh, provider of the deck that I got for Gavin, cardkingdom.com forward slash TCC. They have lent and built this for us, but also, true story, we were missing several cards from each of our decks, and we just went down to Mox Boarding House Portland, where we immediately were able to get these cards, even though they were old and obscure. And Mox Boarding House has locations in Portland, Bellevue, and uh, Seattle. Yeah. And so you might check out a Mox Boarding House or just go to cardkingdom.com forward slash TCC. They have things to buy for magic, and they're great. It's technically Ballard, but we'll let it slide. Ballard, like Jaya. Ballard. Oh, boy. All right, shall we roll for high or for low? Or how are we feeling? I don't care. All right, that's- I roll. That's how you're always feeling. I know, but I Actually, play so much You want me to tell the most efficient way? What is the official? How does R&D roll? We take a D20, oh, and God. we go one through five, six through yeah. 10. Yep. No. That's right. not- Then don't, then just roll the dice. All right, I was gonna say, while we have our spin down, you know, the so least efficient don't way roll, yes. is just keep arguing about what uh, yeah. you're gonna use. <laughs> Five. Beat that. All right. Ten. Ten. All right. Beat that. 
four. Four. Yeah. Womp womp. Box cars. And all right. Now we roll off. Roll off. All right. Little roll off. Five. Good old five. Uh, a little. I feel like I'm gonna be last. You're fine. Oh, four. Oh, I'm gonna go first. All right. And then we're going, we go this direction, I Incorrect. assume. No, no. <laughs> we did that once and we didn't even realize it. Sengir needs a, needs a little bit of the head start. No problem. Uh, okay. I, I can work with this. No. I am good. Well, this makes me feel awkward. <laughs> they keep her, you give me a mullet? Or no, no, down, it's yeah? fine. It's just they're all in the wrong colors. <laughs> well, what? Excuse Don't me. them all. I believe you mean the best color. No, it's yeah. all in the wrong oh, colors. Oh, you just mean you don't like the colors of your kid. I just mean it's gruel. I'm, I'm there's, keeping, I'm keeping. There's gruel keep. and okay. artifacts, yeah. Are we all good? Yeah. We're all good. It's time it's to it. shuffle up and play. We already said that. Well, I just want to say it again. <laughs> Mini Magic the Gathering players ask the question, what does Gavin play for his first turn in shuffle up and play? It's a tapped sunken hollow. Go ahead. Oh, God. You're not going to do this the whole, is this what I'm like? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not. Um, I, I will love, play. I love myself. <laughs> I will play Hawkins National that. Laboratory. Oh, yeah. God. They're all secret <laughs> players. <laughs> okay. I don't I know what that does. That's not a real card. So, this, uh, it, is a, it taps for colorless, or I can pay four and tap to investigate. I'm going to use it to play Soul Ring. Wow. Hey. Yeah, but it's like it's one good. of the best Soul Rings. That is, yeah. What, what secret layer is that from? It's cool. Black is Magic, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a sweet secret layer. See if you can name them all as you're, as you're playing your cards. I, can, I cannot. Ooh. Okay. Secretly, not something I pay too much attention to. I'm going to play a Copperline Gorge, a uh, land I have never seen until today. <laughs> and I will tap that for a Birds of Paradise. All right. You will note that I put a whiteboarded birds in your I deck. know. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> oh, just what I want. Just what I want. All right. I'm going to play an island, and we're going to tap that for a Serum Visions. Ooh, okay. So I draw a card and then scry two. I wish I could scry two and then draw a card. Wouldn't it but be nice? That's called Liberty. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it, it would be nice. All right, I draw a card. It's stronger than the Serum Visions. And then let's scry two. And I will, oh, wow. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and bottom those. Wow. Both, because I got enough of that already. Okay. We got enough of that here. All right, and that's it for my turn. All right, untap Sunken Hollow, draw my card. I'm gonna play out a land, and here's a Talisman of Creativity. Gonna get a nice little miss. Not quite a solar ring, but go ahead. But it's also not really. What is? It's, it's also not quite a Talisman of Progress, which, you know, those okay. are Ty will draw. Did quite the Warhammer 40k precons? Yeah. Did you, were, did you, were you lead on that? No. No, no Ethan Fleischer was lead on those. No. I, I played him a few times. But would, you, would you tell Ethan, Ethan did he did work. a really good job yeah. on those? No, yeah. yeah. they turned out amazing. Ethan crashed right. Him and his team did a good phenomenal job. Oh I will go ahead and play a mountain. And you know what? I'll play Alicia, who smiles at death. Alesha. 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 Sit here with my, my lab. Okay, but can I see this mount? Because it's really cool. It's a secret lair mount. I understand. It's that. from the brand new Heads Eye Wind Tales You Lose Secret Lair. I'm, I'm actually a little disturbed at how this is turning into an ad for secret lairs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're, they're we, I want to be really clear. You. Wizards of the Coast did not sponsor this episode, <laughs> and and I just invited Gavin on as an actual friend, and he is sneaking in sponsorships for his products. Incorrect. <laughs> My products like Magic the Gathering. Yeah, what right. a strange thing to talk about on your channel. Yeah. Absolutely. Totally unacceptable. Wow. I know you're probably talking about I don't know the MySpace card game or whatever, but this is the hot stuff. I remember MySpace. <sighs> So do I. I remember Friendster. I, I think I still have my Same. Friendster account. Follow me on Friendster. Uh, Mario. And what is You're going to marry who? Mary who? Uh, Scholar of Antiquity. She's a legendary elf artificer for 3-3. Uh, three, three. She can tap an untapped, or I can tap an untapped non-token artifact to add green. I can tap two untapped non-token artifacts I control to exile the top card of my library and play that this turn. All right. And that already sounds sweet. This is <laughs> I, I am I'm honestly already jealous. terrified. It's, it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Later, I'll play game with the decks that we made for ourselves, right? Depends on how oh fast dear. this one goes. Oh, dear. Okay, let's go ahead, and we're going to play a Swamp Tap 2 for a Demir Signet and pass the turn. Okay. Nice and fast and free, the way I like it. Untap and draw my card. Well, I'm going to play out a land, and then... Innocent blood and make each player sacrifice a creature. Rude. Sure, no problem, Gavin. No problem. Here to help out, buddy. Yeah. Fresh has got to stick together. Mm. That's right. And then I'll play out my own creature here Ludovic, the Necro Alchemist. So at the beginning of each player's end step, that player may draw a card of a player other than you lost life this turn, which no one has done, but go ahead. I will untap. I will draw. 
I guess we're gonna play this here fabled passage from the Post Malone secret lair. There you go. Wait, has that shipped yet? How do you have that if that hasn't shipped yet? I think it just showed up. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I think Oh, sure, it. sure it had, yeah. And then uh, I it's, guess I'm unfortunately done. It's shipped by the time this video airs. <laughs> Killing the bop really got me there. All right. You could accept Remember, all of, all of your artifacts, even, the, even when you play them. You yes, my love, I know. Turn. Thank you. You don't um, need to mana-splain her. <laughs> there it was. I will tap a mountain for a soul guide lantern. Exactly. That synergizes with your commander. Thank you. What Brian said. Yeah. Okay, just checking. And so you get to exile a card from a graveyard? Soul guide lantern ETBs, exile target card from a gra graveyard. Tap sack it to exile each opponent's graveyard. One tap sack to draw a card. I exile, I don't like that. Right, so it goes away. <laughs> if you hit someone else, you get to draw a card. You can hit me. Or, or prof. I feel I like you want to hit him. I do. Yep. Brian, I'm gonna swing at you for three. All right, uh, I have no blocks, so I'll take three. Great. Cool. Well, it's Brian on Brian violence, right? right. Yeah. I didn't. That's, the, that's the end step, so. Yeah, you draw it at the what? end of the turn. Yeah, I'm done now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and sack this while we're. Yeah. Like a good, efficient commander. Exactly. That's what yes. we love to see. Yes. I, know, I don't want I don't want to look and find, you know, be spoiled what's in the deck, so I'm just gonna try and find Yeah, it. I'm sorry, I tried to build without any searching, but. Uh, I feel like with, the, with all secret the layers, mana is challenging. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, that, it's, it's better than it look, better than it sounds, but it's still <laughs> you needed the terra morph expansion yeah. layer. All right, untap up, keep draw. And, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and we will play an island. Thanks to my Demir Signet, I now have a whopping four mana available to me, which is great because thop thop, I'm gonna thop your spy network at the beginning of my upkeep. If I control an artifact, which I do, I get a 1-1 colorless Thopter artifact creature with flying, and whenever one or more artifact creatures I control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card, pass to you. Great card, great card. Love Thopter Spy Network. Agreed. Untap and draw. Gonna put out this land. All right, well, I gotta get in a damage so I can draw a card. And Olivia played nice. I'm gonna... I Prof tacky for one. Me? Yeah. All right. I take one, go to 39. And then... You're going to probably like this one, Professor. Actually, this is a little little give, a little taketh away. I'm going to play Imposing Grandeur. Each player may discard their hand and draw cards equal to the greatest mana value of a commander they own on the battlefield. Or in the <laughs> no zone. way. Wow. So I will discard my hand and draw six cards. <sighs> so I've got some cool stuff in my hand, but I'd draw six cards if I discard my hand. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna do it. Yeah! Because I've got a Mole Drifter, so that's just like draw cards. I've got a couple of lands, which I like, so I'm not mana screwed. I've got what I really like is this Hanger Back Walker and a Phyrexian Altar for sacking things. So that's a little risky, but six cards, I'll take it. I just wanna call out among the cards I'm discarding are Sengir Vampire and Kazarov Sengir Pure Blood. So the flavor, oh, it's on point, on point with this. Yeah, but you're there in your graveyard. Oh, okay, it is on point. <laughs> I think they might come back eventually. Black decks have a tendency to do that. Yes. So I'll go ahead and draw six cards. I assume you two are staying. Pretty. I am not. Yeah, I'm not starting cards. my hand to draw three. Yeah, hell yeah. Right. I got a grip. And then I will end my turn and draw a card off Ludovic. Uh, I will Prof, how are you feeling after that draw six? I'm feeling very good after this draw Oh, six. good. Yeah. Okay. This is a cool deck, Olivia. Thank you. We'll see. <laughs> Who built it for you to give to me? Nobody. What? You can do that? Yeah. Wow. Go subscribe to Rebel AI. Thanks. Oh, and uh, do you have a channel? Oh, oh, subscribe to Alias B's YouTube channel, right? We have one too. Oh, go subscribe to Brian Kibler's YouTube channel. And, and both of ours. You have an extra one? Commander at Home. A commander at Home? Yeah, it's our new wow. commander show. A new commander show? That's something the market needs. Let's go over to Commander at Home and, and subscribe today. <laughs> new Commander show alert. New Commander <laughs> show alert. New Commander gameplay show alert. I new told Commander you. gameplay show alert. <laughs> Links in the description. Seriously, I haven't seen it, but I'm sure it's great. Ringing endorsement. <laughs> By the time it's Commander at home, I've seen worse. No, that's the whole point. We have Commander at home. Yep. Hmm. Oh, I get it now. Hey! hey that go is, subscribe that is. to Brian and Olivia's channel. I'm gonna play a... No, I'm just gonna replay my Commander, I guess. I'm gonna play Alicia. Okay. Alicia. Alicia. No. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> and uh, then I'm done. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I will play an Ornithopter for free. 
Thank you. Nice. Do Plus one again. mana. Now we're now we're cooking. Mox Ornithopter. Yes, thank you. Storm okay, count so one. Is everything, yeah. Is everything zero of Mox and then the card name? Yes. Okay. That's, that's I'm that's why I'm making sure. I'm gonna tap the lantern and the ornithopter for a mirage mirror. Judge. Mirage Mirror actually costs three, but it appears Olivia mistakenly glanced at its activated ability and only paid two. This very minor mistake has no significant effect upon gameplay. Pay two, it becomes a copy of target artifact creature enchantment or land until end of turn. Oh, I see what you were saying. Uh, yeah, this is, There's a lot. This is this is a lot. <laughs> this is a problem. Spinning some wheels. Very much so. I will pay three after that. This is unhinged. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, this is Urza at home. Yeah, this right? is definitely Urza at home. For gear per aether grid, uh, an enchantment, I can tap two untapped artifacts I control and deal one damage to creature or player. That will not be a concern at this point in time. Uh, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a creature. Yeah, I know, but he's taking damage. I'm trying to even it out. Um, sorry, I need the card draw. I understand. Three, How much damage? Three damage. At three damage. Head. I do not understand. That's baloney. <laughs> it's already... still right there. I didn't pump it or anything. I go to 36. Delightful. I am passing my turn on my unstable draw card. All right. Untap. During my upkeep, if I control an artifact, which I do, I get to thop thop. You might notice our lovely Infinitoken that I wrote thop thop on. That is courtesy of Infinitokens, not a sponsor of this channel. Just, just a really them. cool person. We love them. You should go to infinitokens.com, which was what I, I assume the website is, just like you should go to Commander at Home on YouTube, which is what I assume the name of the channel is, just like you should go to cardkingdom.com forward slash DCC. That is a sponsor of this channel, but let's get on with the freaking game already. Yeah, right. I'm right. loving chill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what is that? It's a thopter. Okay. It's a, look, look at your ornithopter. How is that any different than this? How is that? I thought it was like any an different than Batman this. Thing? This one can tap for mana. Oh, right. That one's got a power though. Mine, so. mine is a one-one. I'm a in my draw. Step. I don't think you power toughness there actually. I think, no. it's, I think it's gonna die. God, damn it. Yeah, what you'd rather have? Birds uh, of Paradise or Mons Goblin I'm Raiders? Actually state -based <laughs> flying man, please. Okay, okay. Please. My bad. All right. <laughs> Multi-format all, right. all star. Yeah, flying <laughs> man. You ever unstable mutation that bad boy? That's gay. Oh, I, I put three on it at the same time. Oh, that's that's GG. All right, let's go or, ahead. Or you, 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 really. <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and move to declare attack. Oh, it has summoning sickness. That's lame. That's lame. I'll go ahead and I'll play an island and we will tap one, two, three for a burnished heart. Oh, I right, can well. sack it to go get up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle my library. I pass the turn since I cannot attack with my thop thop. Can you tell I was worried about you not having enough land? Like, yes. It's hard to ramp and blow in yeah. <laughs> All right, well, here's a swamp. Ready for swamps. And I feel like I just gotta do this, right? I, I can't not do this. I mean, you could. <clears throat> no, you of all people <laughs> would disagree really with this play. Even. Okay, well, let's see. Because it. it's Olivia. Uh, oh, you know, Olivia Crimson Bride is here. Hello. Mm -hmm. Three, four, flying haste. When she attacks, I get to return a creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield, tap and attacking. Mm -hmm. It gains when you don't control a legendary vampire. Exile this creature. And then I stocked my graveyard up with some good old goodies here. Synergy. That's uh, that, that was all good. Be nice or I'll make it, your graveyard disappear. Wow. Ooh. Wow. There's a threat. Well, it's just what Soul Guide From Olivia. Does, that so. is indeed what yep. the card does. Well, well, I was going to attack you. Um, doesn't have summoning sickness. It's haste. It's, it's haste. got haste. Yeah, it's wow. Haste. It's got haste. I'm move fast. Hard. All right, and we're gonna attack with Olivia Crimson Bride. All right, well, <laughs> I, I, we just have to do it. It's too good. I cannot do it. I'm gonna attack Olivia with Olivia. How much? And that's gonna re return Kazarov, a legendary vampire himself, sure. to the battlefield, tapping, tapping and attacking. attacking but you can wow. just use a and I'll have this yeah. attack, Brian. I will take the uh, Kibler, excuse me. Yes. Because that's, that's pretty confusing. So I'm, that is an important distinction to make. Yeah. I'm the professor. Although you're dressed more like me, ironically, today because I'm in my game show outfit. You're in your game. So I take you take four and you take three. This is closer to how Gavin dresses than how I dress. I like and the that purple. Is, yeah. It's looking good. Yeah. It's looking good. Um, and so I hit some people. At the end of my turn, I will draw a card because the player other than me, me lost life. And I'll pass it over to Brian. And now Kazarov, because I didn't read this out fully, it's a 4-4 four, a four, four with flying. When a creature on opponent controls is dealt damage from anything, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. And for four mana, I can deal two damage to a creature. Ooh. Fight amongst yourselves, y'all. No, I'll just make that go away. What is this? 
I assume this is one of the Zodiac or whatever. That's ones. right. Yeah. The Crab Plains crab is here. Crab Plains. Now, Gavin, don't you think, I mean, I, I really am appreciative of the secret layer deck you built for me that Kibler is playing. <laughs> it's complicated. Don't you think the crab should have been an island? Yes. Or are you allowed, am I being mean if I'm asked? I don't, I'm just, I don't mean to criticize, but I am a critic. I think, not, I think so. I, I admit, I'm not an expert at the Zodiac. Yeah. And I, I, I certainly don't select what goes where. But I think that there's something about it actually making sense to be a planes in the Zodiac sign. Oh, I don't know. It? I don't know anything about the Zodiac because I, I, I believe in science. But, Hell yeah. Okay. It was, um, it was super fun. <laughs> I'm just trying to look at his board state, and he's just like, here you go. There you go. I mean, no. they're, all, they're all secret layers. You even know what they are. I know, but. <laughs> they're all the, weird art. Listen, I am. <laughs> The fact that I looked in the direction of Jimmy on a game night and everyone's like, she's just stealing his information. It's like, I'm down. I couldn't yeah, but, remember but it anyways. My brain is made out of Why Teflon. cheat so much? I know. Okay. I'm not good enough to cheat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, okay, well, let's play a Stitcher Supplier. Ooh, that's good with the last show. So when enter the battlefield dies, I mill three cards. We will mill three. Talisman. I don't know what that is. This <laughs> one. A very long term for expanse. I know what that is. Oh my god, it's the all text one. Yeah, all they're right. so good. Oh. Love them. Love I think them. I, I think I just have to go big because I'm already pretty far behind. So Ooh. I'm gonna play Eldrazi Monument. Ooh. Which is pretty good synergy with Alesha. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. So all my creatures have plus one plus one, flying and indestructible. Beginning of my upkeep, sacrifice a creature if you cannot sacrifice Eldrazi Monument. So, and this only triggers if I attack one of your opponents. One of my right? opponents, right. Okay, um, so I'm gonna need to attack, I really need a card, so I don't wanna get chump blocked by a Thopter. So Alesha is going to attack Olivia for three. Four. Four, four because of the Eldrazi. Mm. Uh, and then after that, I am done. I will draw a card from the trigger. Nice. Look how nice this deck. Oh, it's, it's lovely, it's, it's lovely. Just giving everyone cards. Oh yeah. yeah. You, know? right. you need to untap your. She is she was like, SQ. Calm. All right. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, so this is beep, wild. Beep, beep, <laughs> So you're on top of here. These three artifacts all make mana for you now, right? They so you're sure actually do. sitting on one, three, six mana. Yes. I don't like those. You don't like Olivia? No. I have all the cards on the table. I understand that. That's the one you got to like. Incor Other, is that like a legal? Incorrect. Contractually <laughs> obligated. Yeah. Is that in your contract? I don't think it was. <laughs> it was not, like, you should not destroy a Brian Stout arm. That would be, that would be Au contraire. The professor has never blocked uh, a, a Talarian, uh, the 2 3. The Talarian Scholar? The Talarian Scholar, that's the one. He, the professor has never blocked a Talarian no one is, Scholar. I've never seen a Talarian Scholar played in any form of magic ever. That was the last card I cut from that deck. You cut you it? cut it? Oh. I, I know it was in the deck. That should have been the commander. Yeah, out of rule yeah, rule zero. 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 Scholar. Sure. sure. Two, three. Okay. I am torn between a big stupid play or two probably decent ones. Um, big and stupid. That's the way I roll. Yeah, I know. And I don't need to be like you all the time. Uh, So I will tap three for Academy Manufacturer. Whoa. And then I That's will so cool. tap four because this means something, certainly, <laughs> uh, for Lodestone Golem. Okay, Ooh. so non artifact non -artifact spells are one more to cast. Rude. Ooh. Indeed. Why'd I put that in there there? <laughs> Nobody blame but yourself. I am not going to draw anyone's ire right now because I am very unsure of my board state. I'm gonna pass. I think we should all team up against Olivia. All right, untap during my- What are you Urza. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you land a load, so you're playing stack, Threat basically. assessment. You know? <laughs> All right, uh, I get another Thop Thop during my upkeep. I, I, I draw. Your video. Ooh, thop, don't stop. Commander Rules Committee plays stacks. There, <laughs> there you go, There, there's the video time. I there would do know. a much better job than this. It would not be a lodestone column. I'm gonna play yet another island, and it is time for the one, the only, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here she is. <laughs> Oh, come on, Olivia! <laughs> no! I'm telling you, Commander no. Vestal plays stacks. That's the title of the episode. We were just talking about, like, literally to the moment you went to cast that spell, we were talking about the Lone Stone Golem. That was, that was real Ross, Miriam, don't attack. <laughs> don't attack with us. All right. One of those moments. Let's uh, just, let me just untap all those lands again. Yeah. 
And then let me just move to declare attackers. Okay. Gavin, you have a one four, but if I attack you, I don't get to draw a card. Kibler, you have some kind of stitcher supplier. It's a two two flying indestructible. It's a two two flying indestructible, I hate you. And Olivia, <laughs> you are gonna get a burnished heart and two thopters in the air coming your way. One stop stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know. Rules, did am you, I right? Did you, Rules. Are you just gonna pay to sacrifice it when I block it? She's a three three. She's a three three. Are you blocking it, or do I have a trick? She built up the deck, probably sleeve. not. <laughs> I'm gonna block it. You're, You're gonna, gonna block it. So why do, wouldn't you just pay the three to sacrifice? Why don't you just declare your blockers and I see did. what I, I do? I just said I was. Gonna oh, you block are it. okay. And 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 is there no blocks there before damage is dealt? With what flyer? Before damage is dealt, <laughs> I will go ahead and I'm gonna spend three to sacrifice the burnish heart. Maybe work. you would have fallen for the play. I would Maybe not. Maybe you would have fallen for the play. Incorrect. Okay. It is tough when she did build the deck. <laughs> that, that does make it a lot the harder. The Thopter has bluffs. <laughs> yeah. The Thopter hits, yes. and I get to draw a card. You do. And I also get to go get two basic lands to put onto the battlefield. A technical prof, I believe you get the lands before you draw the game. Just kidding. Shut up, Gavin. All Here's right. In the comments of the video, you can drop that below. I would change the whole game. Great. Now, I still have three mana available to me. I will use two of that three to create a bitter blossom because I'm hey. feeling very bitter right now. Fair. It's actually all three because of the villas and Golden Steel. <laughs> I don't like that card. Somebody destroy that card. I don't like having to think about stacks. Neither do I. He put it in you here. You cast it. I'm trying to use it for mana. Yeah, oh my. Listen, that's freaking just the God. Rob Juggernaut mana creature. Uh -huh. <laughs> Must tap for mana if able. It's Brian's fault. It is you my cast fault. it. You did it. You didn't have to do it. Yes, I did. Why did you have, why? So I have mana next turn. I, I guess that makes some sense. Gavin, I pass to you. Thank <laughs> you very much, Professor. From one professor to another, it's much obliged. <laughs> I will now draw my card. I'm going to put out, talk about a flavorful land, oh. Castle Sangir. Oh, isn't that great? Yeah. Uh, it, it mostly taps for colorless. <laughs> don't, 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 don't get too excited. Uh, but it does let me hit seven mana. It's a six mana spell, don't worry. Yeah. But it does let me hit seven mana to cast the six mana spell. I'm gonna fight Rebel about this deck. Which is gonna be pretty sweet. Markov Enforcer is here. Now, yeah, this is from the, the pre-con. When Markov Enforcer or another vampire enters the battlefield under your control, Markov Enforcer fights up to one target creature an opponent controls. Kill that Lodestone Golem. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, what can I do to make you kill the Lodestone Golem? I'm sick of doing math, it's been forever. There are so many other targets. I think there is. Maybe there one probably are better one. targets. Well, it's nothing over here, because that's all I'm going to Why would anything you want over here? No, no, no. I think we're going to start by hitting the commander over here. Rude. Uh, okay, so a few things happen. Um, Did you build I, me? I create a blood we token. Um, are there blood tokens? That we're I can't cast her. Uh, there, there, there are no blood tokens. All right. So well, there will be blood. There will tokens. be blood tokens. Here you go. Gavin's what is blood this? token. I, I will I will draw a blood token. There's a little thing there. Draw blood like this. Oh. Hey, hey. All right, well, we can all decide is that what that an is. that olive? Like. What the hell is that? It's a drop of blood. <laughs> How many of seen the drop of blood Put before? the thing on the marker so it doesn't dry off. Good, good choice. But as as a former community college professor, there's nothing worse than you write with your dry erase on the board and then put the thing down and then it's dead by the end of the lecture. Whenever a creature and opponent controls is dealt damage, I put a plus and plus and counter on Karazov. So bloop, 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 it's a counter. Uh, next, we're going to go to combat. Why did Rebel build things for you? Why didn't you build things yourself? <laughs> I'm a I because I'm a bad deck builder. I wanted to see him actually play a good game of Commander. You've seen this the decks been, I build. This would have been a reason for you to get better. <laughs> Practice. No, no, no. I'm not. Yes. I'm. I'm. I'm I in my forties. There's no getting better from here. I'm thirty I'm or done. forty years old. <laughs> I I'm do done. not need this. I'm done. I'm baked. All right, we're gonna go on the aggressive. We're gonna attack with Olivia and Kara. Don't Karazov. talk about me like that. Kazarov, excuse me. Back with Olivia and Kazarov. Uh, we're going to attack Olivia with both of these. What the They're going to bring back good old buddy Sengir Vampire, <laughs> who is who is here. Sengir Vampire is going to show up. When another vampire enters the battlefield under my control, Markov Enforcer fights wow. up to one target creature and opponent controls. I'm, I'm going to, to choose to fight your Thopter token. Why? Well, why not? Why Why not anything else? Oh, oh I really? Want this, I want this to stay in play. But it'll, the Lodestone Golem. Yeah, but it already has damage on it. Oh, boo you. Yeah. 
So uh, things are going to happen. Karazov's going to get another plus and plus one counter. I'm going to make another blood token, which I will not draw, but I will take an infinite token for. Uh, and this is going to attack you, Professor. Well, so you're, you're going to take four, and Olivia, you're going to take six, seven, eight, nine. I go to 32. What the Emmerich pool. <laughs> Blame the AI. You no! Know? <laughs> Blame the I'm AI. blaming Prof! I came up with the idea for the commanders. I looked at it at the idea and I described to her what I wanted her to do for me. Now, Why I've, can't you do that yourself? Because I'm a professor. We take no. the work other people did and we present it. That's what I did. I'm presenting the work <laughs> someone smarter than me did. I'm a professor. <laughs> this all makes sense. Mini Magic the Gathering <laughs> players ask the question. <laughs> can uh, Prof build decks? Yeah. The I can. No, no, no I no, can. You, you clearly cannot. Like, they're just with crappy old legendaries from Lorwyn. <laughs> that would have been cool. He doesn't want to play with that. Okay, well, Lorwyn's great. But, but anyway, that's my turn. Everyone took their damage. I'm okay. passing over to Brian. I'm going to draw oh a card. Oh my god, it's, it's still your turn? Why are you taking so long? <laughs> this is your fault. All right. Actually, it's Rebel's fault. It's his fault. <laughs> Rebel would not be involved were it not for Prof foisting this upon her. Uh, I paid her, all right? <laughs> Regardless, foisting this upon her. No! You yes. were forced to, unfortunately and regrettably, sacrifice I'm going to creature. sacrifice my Stitcher Supplier uh, to the Eldrazi Monument, which will mill me for three. I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's Dragon's... Uh, what, Blood Crypt? That's in a secret layer? Yep. The ball. Okay. <laughs> I've milled the ball. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't look like I'll be getting a touchdown. Uh, I will draw. Fool. I don't know what this is from. It's like a zodiac. Another zodiac yep. land. It's okay. Different zodiac thing. So your stuff over there is very scary. Yeah, but you want to attack someone else to draw. I cards. do. I do want to attack someone else to draw a card. Okay. So uh, I will attack Prof with Alesha. Oh yeah, me. And then I will. Pay two for their ability, mm -hmm. which will bring a Stitcher Supplier into play, tapped and attacking, and it will trigger milling me for three. Rollis. Elish Norn. Uh, total damage. Uh, that is six damage. Six damage. Okay, that's fun. I'm at 26. Cry me a river. <laughs> I, I will. I've done nothing. Threat assessment, people. Threat assessment. <laughs> I, can't, I can't really effectively attack over here. I guess I can't because I have flyers. I'm at 26. I've uh, I've put a one thopter into play. I also don't just want to get attacked by Gavin. So We're going to spend three mana because of the lodestone golem. And I'll play a Zula Port cut throw. Hey. Welcome to Zulaport. And <laughs> I am then done. I will draw a card from the trigger. I also wouldn't get a card from that. Can I see Olivia? You are Thank Olivia. You. Yeah, I've seen you right here. Enough. Right, here <laughs> Someone get her a mirror. <laughs> oh, see, it's funny because she's Olivia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I will exile uh, everybody's graveyards. All right. Her splat. Boop. You can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> <laughs> Draw cards at other people. Yeah, or I just hit you because I don't care. Can I see Markov? A 6 6 vampire. This dude works out. He's, he's thick. Yeah, he is. Pretty big. Um, I'm just going to hit Gavin for one with the grid. Okay, I take one. I'm gonna pass the prop. Third in. All right. You know, if you hit anyone else, you draw a card. Yes, I know. Damage. Okay, just understand. Well, I, think, I, think, I think we've been held hostage by Gavin's Ludovic long enough. It's true. Who's oh, with I'm me? So glad <laughs> yeah. you're coming around. Yes, all right. <laughs> Untap. During my upkeep, I get not one, but two. May I see that dry erase marker, please, Gavin? Because I get a Thopter, and. but I also get a Fairy. Aw, I love Bitter Blood. And I think that getting a 1-1 one, one Fairy Rogue token is very, very nice. Hey, listen. Oh, God. This card qualified me for more Pro Tours than any other card I ever played. So it's good. Did you ever win a Pro Tour? No. But this guy did. Did you, How many Pro Tours did you win, Brian Kibler? Two. And how many of those were Commander? All of them. Yes, okay. 
So I now have a fairy and a thopter. My blood pressure is high enough already right now. Thank you. <laughs> Draw for turn. Ooh, that's fun too. We got a lot of fun stuff here, but you know what I want to do is I want to freaking bring in my commander. Did I play a new land last turn? I didn't. Oh no, I got those. Yes, yeah. great, great, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Hey. To bring in. Vela, the nightclad. She is a 4-4 intimidate. Other creatures I control have intimidate. Whenever Vela, the nightclad, or another creature you control leaves the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. So that means don't mess with me. Gavin, if I attack Olivia, I get to draw two cards, don't I? Just one. Just one? One off of the Thopter's by now. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, right. I'm sorry. Did you read the card? Reading the card explains the card. Yeah, well, the, yeah, reading this card also explains this card. It does, doesn't it? So I'm going to move <coughs> to Declare Attackers. Sorry, just going to time it for a second. Yeah. So you, last turn, you could not play Vel because you don't have, not have enough mana, right? Right. You right. The and then he oh, you sacked the Burnished Heart. That's why yeah. I have lands now. Okay. I, I, I was so Did long. you read the Burnished Heart? Oh, my God. Reading the Burnished Heart explains the Burnished Heart. Wow. <laughs> That's no way to treat a magic card. It's a burnish. You sacrifice it anyway. It's a burnish card. Wow. That was my That's I would be upset, but she owns that. That's not even my I card. It's mine. She the best part that. is, because it was exiled, I don't even need to go retrieve it. It's just the thing I've used again in this game. It's good to go. That's Move sad. to declare attackers. Olivia, I'm coming at you with one thop thop. Okay. Hits you. I draw. I will block. It has intimidate. Oh, yeah. Uh, intimidate is... Okay, except, except by uh, black, black or artifact, artifact creatures. Which is what yeah. intimidate is. <laughs> Reading the card. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you gotta squint at the card to explain the card. But either way, it's gonna get you there. I wanna take it back. I'm not having fun. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. <laughs> Good chat, everybody. Good chat. <laughs> he was so sure. Although, uh, you do get- That's why I was sitting here, I was like- Oh, creature is dealt yeah, damage. The Ornithopter is dealt damage. Um, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what a good nature to give a magic role play. <laughs> Nailed it. What a fun format with friends. Except for Gavin. Yeah. Well, I think it's pretty fun. And Olivia. Okay. Um, but mostly prop. I'm gonna spend- Kibler's all right. Pay one mana. <clears throat> I'm going to sacrifice one blood token. I'm going to discard Olivia Voldaren. So, uh... Flavor Judge. Uh, look, that's what I'm discarding here. I'm going to draw a card. Once again, I am unceremoniously thrown away. <laughs> Ooh, that's exciting. Tap two mana. I'm going to play Is It Signet, which does not have any cost reduction, it's, or a cost increase yes, of course. it's an artifact. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to play Camber the Plunderer. It's got partner with Loreen the Diversion. So when it comes into play, I can search my library for Loreen the Diversion. Put it in my hand. Partner with a great mechanic. Is, is there one in there? It's, I, I, you'd have to ask Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. Loreen the Diversion is here. Introducing Battle Bond, a great mechanic. We should play Battle, Battle Bond Battle sometime. Bond is a great set. Y'all want to play some Battle Bond after this? totally play Battle Bond. <laughs> Battle Bond's <laughs> fun. Play Battle Bond. Have you ever played Battle Bond? Yeah. You're going to have to build your own deck. Oh, yeah. Not, no. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll have a hill of teammate. Oh, right. Yeah. Once again. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm going to get Lorene in my hand. A few things are, are going to happen here. First of all, I mark on Forcer, fight up to one target creature on a pool. Look at my creatures. Controls. I think we're going to have it fight your Thopter token. Which, the tapped one or the untapped the one? The untapped one is the one that I would choose. So that will die. Uh, and when it dies, each opponent loses one life. Okay. You're welcome. I take it. Ow. Uh, cares off its counter. Camber the Plunderer will also trigger. So whenever a creature opponent controls dies, you gain one life. So I'll get that right back. And I'll create mm -hmm. a blood token, which I will do. So I've got two blood tokens now. Right. Blood, your blood flooded. There will be blood. Okay. Okay. So we're going to send Markov Enforcer at Olivia. Okay. We're going to send Olivia Crimson right at Olivia because I continue to find it hilarious. We're going to send Karazov at Professor. And we're gonna send Sengir Vampire at Professor. Because again, attacking Professor with the Sengir is once again just feels right. These are gonna stay at home. I'm glad there's a thematic reason to attack me right now. Yeah. It's, it's nice. <laughs> uh, when, I draw a, when I draw a secret lair card, that'll be time to attack you. Yeah. Uh, so Olivia Crimson Bride, this is this is the, the moment, everybody. Olivia Crimson Bride will return Olivia Fuldar to the battlefield. There's, I don't know what's sense. going on yeah. here. She's marrying herself. Timey, wimey, wibbly, wobbly stuff. 
She shows up. Is that some weird Doctor Who? Ginger taxis. Well, yeah. some weird Doctor That's Who. That's ginger taxis. Nonsense that I actually understand. I don't wow. even know that. I just wow. figured it was. Markov Enforcer, a uh, new vampire came into play. So Markov Enforcer is going to fight your, is going to fight your Ornithopter. Okay. So that makes that go away. You can't you ping with it with grid before it goes. No, because I need this. Karazov is going to get a plus one, plus one okay. counter. Let's see, creature died, so I gain one life and create a blood token. And those are my triggers. Anything else? <laughs> Mirage Mirror is a Markov Enforcer. Yep. Block. Yep. Okay. Cool. It has one damage mark, so. Boop. It will survive! I'll take three from all of you. All right. So, uh, they, they'll trade, right? That already had damage marked on it from the. They don't. Uh, oh, from the fight? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just they're, 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 they're saying still, still taking, taking yeah, six and dealing six. Okay, so these will trade off. Um, and then you're gonna take six in the air from these. Oh, books. they're both coming at me? Yep, and Professor's gonna take 13. Whoa, I have blockers. You're welcome to block. I, I am, which one of them's bigger? Uh, Karazov, who is a nine power great one. Well, I don't care, Izov, so I'm blocking with my fairy, uh, flying fairy rogue. Okay, sounds good. Uh, and I assume the other one's flies. So, yep. yes. so you'll take Sengir Vampire. Do you know what this card does? Yes, I do. I All do. Right. So it flies. So um, Karazov will get two plus one plus one counters because your thing took damage and my thing took damage. All right, I go down to 21. And of course, when the fairy dies, everybody's going to lose one life thanks to Vela. Yeah. Yep. Take two blood tokens. I get that. And I'm going to make uh, one more blood token for Markov Enforcer. So up to four blood tokens. I haven't played land yet this turn, so I want to play out Temple of Deceit. I will go ahead and scry one. I do not want that. And then I will end my turn and draw a card for Ludovic. Okay, so let's untap. Uh, Eldrazi Monument will mm. sacrifice Stitcher Supplier. Uh, when you sacrifice your Stitcher Supplier in your upkeep, that triggers Camber, which gives me a blood token and a life. You will mill me for three cards. Oh, I love that, that swamp. Oh, oh my god, that's sweet. <laughs> Uh, I will, uh, and everyone loses a life, and I gain yeah. a life from Cutthroat. Brutal So, physics. I will draw a card. So, Prof, you you currently have just the... Uh, just the Tap, Thopter, and Bella. And you have... Do you have any fly? Oh, no, I, I still can't... Uh, I wanted I wanted to attack you, but <laughs> but I want the cards. Gotta get those cards. What yeah. the hell is wrong with you? Attack him anyway. I need cards. Yeah, well, when you're dead after he kills you, you still don't get cards. That's that's not true. Oh my god. <laughs> no, that is true. Attack him. <laughs> For whatever it's worth, you could split it up, right? One at someone I know, else and one at That's me. true. But then I don't have blockers. Oh my lord. All right. Um, yeah, so what we're gonna do, I guess we, we get the extra attack or two. So we're gonna have um, Alesha is going to attack over here um, against Gavin. Mm -hmm. I will pay black, black, and I will return Citrus Supplier, which is going to attack Prof. Uh, I will trigger mill three cards. There's a Wrath of God. I needed that. No. Oh. I also only have one white mana, but. Blasphemous Act. But <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I take that mill back? Yes. No. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm on the rules committee. So, I can't, so. <laughs> uh, Alesha is hitting you here, uh, and then Stitcher Supplier over here. Uh, do I get to declare blockers? It's a flyer. Stitcher's, it's a. How does a Stitcher Supplier? Eldrazi Mon. Oh, it worships the Eldrazi, yes. and it's from Innistrad. How does that work? <laughs> how much damage do I take? Uh, it's two, and then I'll Gavin four. takes four. I want you to draw one of those cards. I, I I also wanted to draw one of those cards. And then in my uh, scheme of trying to keep myself alive, do I want to play? I can only play four. I don't even know what this card does necessarily, but uh, I will play Ryu World Warrior. Sure. He has training. Whenever it attacks another group <laughs> with greater power, put a plus one, plus one cutter on this. <laughs> and it can Hadouken, which is five, and untap this. Discard a card, Ryu deals damage equal to his power to any target. If excess damage was dealt to a creature this way, draw a card. Sure, why not? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I am done. I will draw a trigger from the Ludovic, or draw a card from the Ludovic trigger on my end step. Nice. I'll draw. I love how I've done absolutely nothing and I'm at the lowest, I'm assuming, life total. You're not even You're close. At You're at 10? He's hitting me for nine. Oh, wow, maybe I can kill you. 
<laughs> then I at least I'll get to have done something. Yeah. Mishra. Try to kill me first. <laughs> Uh, Not if I kill me first, well, given how be, I play. That's the goal. It's good to have goals, you know. Good to have goals. How you doing there, Olivia? Fine. I think I'm out of the game, though. Oh, no. I won't really attack you. Yeah, you will. You don't have to do anything. He's going to do it anyway. No, I'm going to kill him next turn. You are not. With my thopter. <laughs> okay. Um, I believe you. Thop, thop. Says thop, thop. Right thop, thop. Don't, thop, thop. Don't thop believe him. Oh, God. I'm quitting. It's been fun. I'll see you later. <laughs> nope, I can't live with that. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass. All right. Untap. During my upkeep, I am going to get a fairy rogue. Uh, no offense to Affinity Tokens, but I did find my missing fairy whoa, rogue Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not even a black fairy Let's rogue. Let's just pretend because I know I'm running low on Affinity Tokens. I guess I better order more. And I lose a life from that. And then I also get another one of my Thop Thops back. It's right there on top. It's there. Okay, uh, and draw. Oh look, a swamp. Let's make some magic. I can't believe, Gavin, all of your raffle stomping here of other people, and you haven't even brought the true commander of your deck, Baron Sanger, into play. Next I turn, thought it was, oh, turn. no, there is no next turn because the Baron rewards loyalty. Oh, the like Baron, baron <laughs> rewards Power. The Baron Anymore. needs an extra because of Lodestone. <laughs> <laughs> baron Sengir the Dark Baron. 4-4, four, four, not in Grixis for some reason. Flying, whenever a creature, another creature dies, put two plus one, plus one counters on Sengir the Dark Baron. Whenever another player loses the game, Olivia, you <laughs> gain life to that player's life total as the turn began. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Move to declare attackers. Untapped creatures, yeah. I've got a 3-4 lifelinker and uh -huh. a 1-4. And they're no both flying. black. And no flying. Though. And they're both black. Correct. What do you have untapped? Uh, yeah. Two flying indestructible creatures. Uh, what colors are they? Uh, they are black and white. God damn it. Olivia, what do you have that's flying? You don't want me to lose anything because then you don't gain that life. No. <laughs> but I want to draw cards. You guys well, are Intim so Intim is same do you have Intimidate is same color or artifact. Same color or artifact. Right. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, do you have flyers? Cool. Uh, she can I, kill it's them, one she point. Can kill them with Aether Grid. I will kill wants. them with Aether Grid. Fine. I feel like I'm being. I feel Don't like. Don't even start with me. I feel. You guys are being cowards. You think I want to draw one card? Uh, what am I supposed to do against Gavin? Gavin. I thought you were going to win the game against him this turn. That was what you said. I, I attacked Gavin with a Thopter. The lie detector test determined. <laughs> that was a I, lie. I attacked, I attacked Gavin with a Thopter. <laughs> Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, prof. I mean, if, uh, if that's how you want to play it, oh. yeah. If that's how you want to play it, you made me do this. Just, just remember that the Baron you rewards the You did this the all to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> remember who the who the real Baron is here. All right. Yeah, it's this guy. Wow. Kara's <laughs> off. Yeah. All right. Uh, I will not block. I'll take one. Ooh. All right. Cool. Awesome. Uh, I draw a card thanks to Thopter Spy Network. Yep. Ooh, that's we're drop, drawing your card anyway. Hang on. All right, second main. We're doing some things here. We're doing some things. We're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. Pass turn. Okay. Wow. I thought that was going to end badly for me. <laughs> His turn hasn't started yet. No. <laughs> yeah. That's how there, there may still yet be a time. <laughs> yes. There may still yet be a time. Like right now. Might be one of those times, in fact. We're going to send... Kazarov at Olivia. How big? Uh, it's 11, 11 flyer. Hmm. Uh, we're going to send Olivia. We're going to send Olivia. At, yeah, Olivia at Professor. Uh huh. We're going to send Olivia at Professor. <laughs> we're going to send um, Sengir Vampire. Good old Sengir Vampire. I just cannot get through those flyers over there. What a bummer. I will also send Sengir Vampire at Professor. Yay. Now, I've got a few triggers that are going to happen here. Yeah. I'm going to have Olivia target Markov Enforcer to bring back. All right. All right. It's going to fight something. It's going to come back. It comes into play. Um, it's attacking, right? It comes into play attacking. Yeah. That's true. Um, I guess we're going to send this attacking... Send it to me. At... You're already dead. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we're gonna send this. Nice gonna send it at you. Attacking. 
I guess we'll send it back in uh, uh, Brian. Okay. Which one? But, at the, at the <laughs> professor. <laughs> for professor. It's for right. um, an ongoing problem. Um, <laughs> th- this, this trigger will happen when it enters the battlefield to have yeah. it fight something. I'm going to um, have it fight Vela the Nightclad. Ooh. In response to that trigger, yeah. just remember, Professor, that the Baron reward rewards loyalty. Uh-huh. I will gain control of target vampire. <laughs> I'll choose Bar- Sanger the Dark Baron. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so you're going to gain control of Sanger the Dark Baron, or you're attempting to. I'm attempting to, yeah. And you're also targeting Bella the Nightclad with fight. That's right. I have responses. Okay. Well, maybe things that. Maybe In response. Got I'm going to do a blue with Demir Signet. Yep. This gives me a blue and a black. Yep. I'm going to use the black on a mana source, which I assume is instant speed. That's right. It is. Yes. All right. It's mana source. I'm going to sacrifice this tapped Thopter. Okay. Four black mana. Four black mana. I still have a blue floating. Okay. Watch me still die. Uh, I am then going to cast a paradoxical outcome. Ooh, exciting. Which okay. this lets me return any number of non-token non-land creatures, permanents, to their uh, owner's hands, and then draw a card for each return to my hand this way. Yeah. There's, well, th- there's still the Lodestone Gold in play. I have one extra. I have four mana from yeah. this and one blue. Okay. But, it's, but this fine. costs two to cast. <gasps> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, there's... <laughs> <laughs> Rituals are pretty bad in the Lodestone Gold. <laughs> fine. All right. I, there goes my Vela is fought. <laughs> In there, I'll and you gain Sengir. control of Sengir. Sengir gets two plus one I counter. I hate it that <laughs> lodestone golem. <laughs> Commander RC member plays stacks. Incorrect. Uh, Brian Kibler gave me stacks. It's true. I gave you a lodestone golem with your deck. And you uh, use, if you what give, the hell was I supposed to do? Not do it. If I gave you a knife, would you stab me? <laughs> Maybe. Right now? At yeah. This point, yeah. <laughs> so uh, a few things. Uh, damage was dealt, so Karazov gets an additional counter. Uh, I make an additional blood I token. Off of this, I gain additional oh. life off this, <laughs> um, and this fought, so I make an additional blood token up to seven blood tokens. I mean, I can technically scoop at any time, and then it's not there, and that does work. Eh. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Okay, so now uh, we can go to blocking. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right, great. What are the two biggest things coming at me? The, the two biggest things coming at you are a uh, Sangir vampire and Markov enforcer and Olivia. So the, I guess it's, yeah, Singer Vampire and Markov Enforcer. I block the 6-6 six, six and the 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so that sounds good. Okay, so a couple things are gonna happen. Yeah. Singer Vampire is gonna do its thing. Boom. We're gonna get a plus one, plus one counter. Wow, that's the first time that's been recorded on camera <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> the history of Magic this the Gathering. This ability Literally basically never only happened. exists for first striking script, you know, first striking yeah. Singer versus how many scripts for yeah. like puzzling things, not actually for this. So I'm gonna get two blood off this and one more blood off this. I'm gonna gain two life when the creatures die. Uh, Sengir will get four more plus and plus encounters. Oh my god. And Olivia, did you lose the game just now? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I'm gonna need another dice. And <laughs> actually, <laughs> Olivia, can I have one of your dice? You don't see either. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Judge, at this point, Olivia realized she was out of the game and began to scoop, perhaps prematurely. That being said, we are still giving life to Gavin for how much she had at the start of the turn due to the Baron's trigger. The good news is, the good news is, the Lodestone Golem is off the field. Oh my God, so yeah. you're, you're clear to go, <laughs> you're in the clear, um, no you're problem. You're still alive, so you can I'm do still it alive. Time, yeah. Well, I, yeah. Wait, it didn't even work. I know Why it didn't. Why wouldn't you take it back? What did work? I got, I, I spent the, oh, I don't know. Yeah, you did spend Do I have it. the calling of the week in my hand? Yes. yes. I do. Sure. Should, yeah, you should have the Thopter you sacrifice back to them. It's dead. Okay. We well, yeah. could have blocked with it. But it, it, it was tapped. It was tapped. Oh, you okay. should at least have it. So I have a th- tap, tap thop, thop, thop. Yeah. That's kind of you to say that. I'm going to play Strafon, more our progenitor. <clears throat> at the beginning of my end step, create a blood token for each player who lost life this turn. I'll make another blood. And uh, I will end my turn. I'll draw a card off Ludovic. I then have eight cards in my hand. I have to, have to discard a card. I'm gonna discard this, and it's over to you. Okay, this is a, a tall hill to climb, especially with these in my graveyard. Let's mm-hmm. untap. We will trigger Eldrazi Monument, sacrifice Stitcher Supplier. Everyone loses a life. I gain a life. From yep. the Cutthroat, I mill for three. I lose a life. 
Dragon Skull Summit. What, it just has no art? Oh, it's just... What is this? Do you not follow what secret layers are? Absolutely not. It's like a silhouette Dragon Skull Summit. Okay, uh, and then I will draw. <laughs> That's not a basic land. Hmm. Eldrazi Monument do work. Eldrazi Monument yeah. is doing a lot of work here. It's like makes a lot of attacks into you. Not good looking. Yep. Yeah, I do need some help here. Oh, and uh, when you sacrifice your creature in your upkeep, I'll make another blood token and gain one life. Yeah. Okay. I wish I had one more mana. That's so a, did I. One more. <laughs> There's a so great YouTube channel called One More Mana. <laughs> there is a great YouTube channel. You're absolutely right. They are delightful. Okay. Um, I think the name of my commander autobiography is like, I had one more mana. Mm. It's just like, that's the, that's the format. Well, I guess my best chance here is going to be continuing to feed the monument. And you guys are too big. I do need to attack with it to get my thing back to feed the monument. So, sorry. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> unless uh, unless you will uh, right. we'll attack here and the stitcher supplier is gonna attack over there over there. Uh-huh. Which we get back. If you wanna battle with this too, you can always untap it. I, so. Yes, but that costs mana. It costs five mana. Yeah, it's it's so much mana. No problem. Alright. So Stitcher Supplier comes back. I get milled for three. It seems like you're putting all your oh, good fancy cards bands. in there. I know, seriously, I could really use those. Uh, so I take two? Uh, yes, and yeah, I'm not gonna block. I'll take four. Okay. Sweet. Ha ha! Got yeah, you. you. got me. Okay, um, now, oh, I have to spend a mana to do this, obviously. I am going to play Ghostly Prison to make attack Ooh, me even oh, harder. Oh, nice. And then I will play Lightning Greaves. And then I'm done. All right. Oh, oh and let's... I draw a card. Is yeah. it on anyone? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I guess we'll Greaves up this guy. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Drop. And then I'm done. All right, untapped. During my upkeep, I get a Thopter. I also get a Fairy. I also lose a life thanks to the Bitter Blossom giving me that Fairy. There's no May ability there. Uh, I draw a card. Uh, oh dear, that is not really good. I am in some trouble here. Most, in fact, there's, there's no creatures. I don't have creatures. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to bring in Vela. And I'm just gonna pray that I live another day, but I probably won't. All right, I will attack, or I will untap. He's getting ahead of yourself there, Yeah, Kevin. Yeah. I will attack. You haven't even drawn yet. And then exactly. next I'll attack. Isn't yeah. that, aren't and those the, attack. the turns of the turn? Yeah, attack, attack, attack. attack. Are those attack? six Clean counters up. on the, are you gonna kill me with my own Baron Sengir? Um, you also have a Baron of your own. I've got, I got a Baron I could cast, I could legend rule it just to show who the boss is. Yeah. You know, it's, it's good to have options. Um, the important thing is it's gonna cost so much mana to attack Ryan. Mm -hmm. We're trying to make it real hard to kill me. So yeah. <laughs> my creatures are flying in indestructible and have a ghostly prison. So. Right, and one of them has a lightning graves. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a real process over there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna spend one mana, I'm gonna sacrifice, sacrifice one of my 12 blood tokens. <laughs> I will uh, discard Vengeful Ancestor and draw a new card. It's not a vampire. Yeah, it's, it is not. it's hanging out here. It's a spirit dragon. Yeah. Then we're going to do this thing where I pay two mana and I deal one damage using Olivia to Zulaport Cutthroat. Mm -hmm. And I will spend one, two, three, four, five mana and I will uh, attempt to gain control of Zulaport Cutthroat. And it'll it'll just die immediately. Yep. So you have a counter on Olivia as well. Yeah, Olivia gets a counter as well. Uh, there you go. Thank you so much. Uh, a damage was dealt as well, so Karazov gets a counter. A creature died, so Sengir gets a counter. Here you go. <laughs> uh, one of your creatures died, so I get a blood token back. I gain a life. Oh, and you do you do all lose one. Actually, no. You, you it's under your control. It's under my control. You it, so, so you both lose one life. Each and I gain. Oh, goody. Then I will play a land. So I, I could pay two mana and attack Brian, um, which would be wonderful, except for the problem of this ghostly prison. And the problem of which Brian? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it is the truth, it is the truth. Get two mana. <clears throat> I'm going to discard this card to draw a card with a blood token. 
And then I will discard this card to draw a card with another blood token, with the other floating mana I have. Okay, uh, go to combat. Sengir, coming after you. Who? Olivia, coming after you. Who? Other Olivia. Uh, you have three, three, I have three yeah. flyers. Coming after you. Yeah. Sengir Vampire will come after you. All right. One more. more large boy. Yeah, send that large boy at me, baby. I guess you can kill that, but that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna attack you with all of these creatures. It looks like I'm just gone, I believe, um, right? Well, a couple things. Olivia's gonna trigger to get Vengeful Ancestor back. Uh-huh. Who's gonna come in uh, tapped and attacking. Okay. We're gonna send this in attacking professor as well. Oh, goody. Uh, for, for an extra little foot bit of fun. Cool. Uh, I block the three largest ones and then I die. Right. Okay. Horribly. <laughs> Horribly. <laughs> so uh, three things take damage. A few things are gonna happen. Uh, and just to be clear, you don't lose life from Vela no. as yeah, you are gone. I'm right. gone, but she's still there in that one paradoxical <laughs> quantum <laughs> moment. The, the, the triggers are actually generated to go on the stack, and, and then, then you, you die, and all yeah. your triggers are taken off the stack. All of your uh, effects leave when you leave. Other things that leave are the Sengir the Dark Baron, but not before this trigger that I control is generated. If whenever a player loses the game, I gain the field. Feels, that player. feels like <laughs> feels like I, feels like you wouldn't get that. So I gain six life. It just feels like you wouldn't get that. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. If, if that six life matters, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow. So uh, that all happens. Still have, didn't make a dent on you at all. Um, yeah, you got the ghost, ghostly prison. Elder, Eldrazi ghostly prison stacks. Also, three, three of your creatures took damage. This will get three counters. Uh, three of your creatures died. It's actually kind of funny. Blasphemous Act is not enough to kill that. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I did have it. That thing would live through Blasphemous Act. Yep. Okay, I've got a jillion blood tokens. And it would um, get counters for everything you dealt damage to. Yep, I got that. I'm going to end my turn. I'll draw a card because the player other than me lost life this turn. And then I will discard a card because I have too many cards in my hand. <laughs> okay, this is a tall hill to climb, especially with secret lair cards only. Uh, let's untap. I will sacrifice the Stitcher Supplier and I'm going to suffer three more. I no longer have any way to make you lose life there. Who's that? Ooh, cut to ribbons. All right, and then I will draw. I, I did need some mana fixing, but a tap plan at this point is a little rough. <laughs> um, okay. So. I guess all I can really do, I kind of have to attack because I need my Alesha trigger. I will attack with both of these. Okay. Um, so Alesha will trigger. I'm going to return. At this point, I'm just gonna get, I don't even know if there's something that Stitcher Supplier can get me that Alesha will do something with, so I probably should get this now. Okay. I don't think Zulu Pork Cutter is gonna matter. Uh, so that will mill me for three uh, again. Yonder. <laughs> oh, Yonder would be sick. All right. Peripherals would be sweet. Uh, can I and then uh, training will buff the Ryu. So it gets a plus one, plus one counter. It will. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go to block. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put Kazarov on Alesha. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take three, four, five, uh, six. No, so this is four, five, six. Yeah, I'll take six total. Okay. And Kazarov will, will get a counter. Uh, oh, I have to, sorry, I have to get this counter. Yep. Not free. Not Can free. I get a dice, please, for Kazarov? Oh, sure, sure. Here, I have several in case you... Whoop. I didn't mean that aggressive. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Then uh, I am going to... Hadouken! Oh, there it is. All right. I'm going to discard Gaz Scroll Prophet of the Wah, which is really appropriate to Hadouken with. Uh, AKA and, Zerga. And I'm going to deal four to Olivia Voldera. Okay. Olivia Hadouken! is dead. Yes, she died before me, even. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I'm done. Okay. In more ways than one, I, yeah, I, I, I feel like this is... Gonna, what are you at in life there, kids? I'm at 31. You're I have done. an indestructible blocker, and you can, it costs two to attack with anything. Right, I can sneak so, a few attackers in. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. All right. I, I think I'm very likely going to die any moment. But... Okay. The um, Olympia Crimson Bride literally never leaving play when it was played on turn five is pretty tough to beat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've got... You've got one blocker there. Pay one, and I'm gonna discard um, Riffle Glue to draw a card into a blood token. That is appropriate. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna remember if I'm looting to draw a card. Just looting it away. <laughs> okay. Go to combat. I'm gonna do some attacking. I would imagine. One, two, three, four, five attackers. Mm -hmm. Kazrov's gonna come at you, Strafan's gonna come at you, Olivia's gonna come at you, Markov Enforcer's gonna come at you, Sengir Vampire's gonna come at you. Q triggers. I'm gonna sacrifice two blood tokens to Strafan to put a vampire from my hand into play tapped and attacking. Oh boy. It's Sengir Connoisseur. Whenever one or more other creatures die, you get plus plus one counter. Or she gets plus one counter, rather. And then um, Olivia's gonna bring back Olivia. So many Olivias. Just continuing. One is enough. Hand. Am I right? And they, because of how the time and ghostly prison works, he's actually cheap yep. through the cost. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to pay to attack uh, attack because they are put into play attacking. Yes. Correct. Um, Markov Enforcer is not going to fight anything. Okay. Either of these because of the Eldrazi monument. So these creatures are all attacking. Okay, so I'm going to block the gigantic one. And then how much damage do I take? You'll take 3, 6, 9, 12, 18, 23. Okay. Uh, so I eight. go to 8. Okay. Uh, your one creature takes damage, so I'll put a counter on Kazarov. That will end my turn. You did not take damage, so I don't draw any cards. Go ahead. I need I need like a... I did not take damage. I took, I oh, took sorry. 23 damage? damage. <laughs> you blocked the damage I wanted you to take. All right, I'll draw a card. I'll what? Draw a card. <laughs> Yeah. Just, there was, put it back I, on, put it back on! He said you took no damage! No, that yeah. was actually just there to rub it in a little bit. It's like, oh yeah, you didn't take any damage, yeah, did you? Damage. There was just, no damage. 23. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't even your whole life total. Okay. It wasn't even... It Let's wasn't untap. Out. We will once again... The old second verse stay is the first. Yeah. Sacrifice to uh, Eldrazi Monument. Yeah. We're hoping to mill, like, I don't know, like a creature that comes into play and destroys all vampires. Strip mine? I mean, what is that? Okay, uh, and then I will draw my card. Oh, the perfect card. Oh, a land. No, it's, it's, it's Mother of Friends. Oh, it's cool looking, but. Okay, well, I. Don't tell him what it is. Now he has a Does it matter? Now he has an advantage over you. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Great deck building, Prof. Thanks. <laughs> I, I, I like And by Prof, I mean not you, because you did nothing. Good job, Rebel. <laughs> if if you you're looking nothing. for an awesome channel with cool deck guides and deck builder, check out Rebel AI. Uh, not a sponsor of this channel, just someone I hire to write scripts sometimes and build decks for me. Not a sponsor of the channel, just someone who gives you decks to hand other people. Yeah. <laughs> I, give is a generous term there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Good game, good, good games. Come on. You were the with the. I didn't do she anything. She won't shake my. Okay. I will when I want to. Good game. Good game. Good game. You're certainly not shaking it first. Thank you for trying to build me something nice. <laughs> GG's. Yeah, GG's. Gavin was the one who bullied you and killed all your mana. So. I know. <laughs> Actually, Rebel is. I blame it's Rebel. Yeah, yeah, it's for Rebel. Everything. I blame Prof. It is because definitely it's not Rebel's, Rebel's fault. fault. That you built a deck for the wrong person. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My deck one, the deck that I built and gave to Gavin one, is the pilot of a deck important, somewhat, but in all honesty, the deck that I had designed for Gavin one. So in a way, I, I'm the winner here, right? Right? I'm really glad that Rebel was here today and that we got to play against Rebel and Gavin and Brian and myself. Like that's an amazing pod, right? So. In all things, you know, I'm really glad I got to, to jam with Rebel. It's always good. And Lodestone Golem is a perfectly fine card to play. It was a lot of fun to play the deck that Gavin painstakingly built for someone else entirely. Uh, and you'd think that, you know, you, you, you win a couple of Pro Tours, you get into the Pro Tour Hall of Fame, that maybe people recognize that you are also named Brian. Hello, students. This is the new headmaster of Tularean Community College talking after I disposed of that last imbecile. I am the champion today. Welcome to class. I'd like to thank Rebel very much for my victory here. That was really the, the key thing I think today was getting Rebel's deck handed to me. Um, I'm glad I, you know, she didn't know the right power level for this event. So uh, good work, Rebel. <laughs> Next time on Shuffle Up and Play. Today, our old favorite classic commander decks, but they're allowed to do a little tune-up if they see 
Yeah. So my name is Lexi, otherwise known as Black Girl Mage, and I have brought Essex. Hi, I'm Amy the Amazonian, and I'm playing Lord Wingrace's Dirty Litter Box. Hello, everybody. My name is Voxy, and I have crabs. Uh, I have <laughs> Crucible of Worlds. Oh, Was yeah. that a secret lair? Oh, yeah, this is secret lair Amazonian. You can only get it from my house. <laughs> <laughs> How do we feel about infect happening? My 1-1 one, one snake is not the threat. I really love that shirt because it implies that Garuk broke his curse by ripping his shirt off. Show a little skin. Hell yeah.